right, so let's let's go back to the semi for reals this have, time. Do you have a semi right now? Maybe. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> So, this is the uh, same player we just watched playing against Demix. Um, your Trickstar Time Lord versus Phantom Knights. I was very interested in this match. I wanted nothing more than for Demix to win so I wouldn't have to play against <laughs> Trickstar. <laughs> you, you, have a, you have a horse in this race. Yeah. Because I think oh, at this point, I mean, you, had, you had your matches played out pretty quickly, so you knew your opponent going into this match. Yeah, I'm like, please let me play against anything BA-like. BA It'll just let me use my imaginations all day. Right. I just, I'm flabbergasted that this cheesy, bad build of Trickstars just keeps powering through the tournament. Mm-hmm. I guess burn is burn, right? Yeah. And if you can get off the, uh, the have the life point Time Lord that gets him in the range of the standard trickster, yeah that, that's that's literally the only reason for the synergy that one guy does a stupid amount of quote burn damage oh look mono the bounce still stuck in his hand <laughs> every single duel <laughs> you don't want it <laughs> it actively shuts off your win condition yeah lily bill no Come on, Phantom Knights, don't lose to this. We don't lose to this. All the burn. <laughs> <laughs> Dex competent. It's surprisingly well built. Don't lose to this. You're losing to this. <laughs> you get yes, whooped. Oh. So rare that works. <laughs> Uh, he made a use of the Mount of the Bound. Yeah. He discarded it. Yeah. <laughs> no card is dead in your deck when you play Nightmares. <laughs> True. <laughs> I can always discard this card I can't use. I would any... That's scrub logic, though. That's... What is Mount of the Bound supposed to do for him anyway? I uh, do not know. I think it's supposed because to protect... Mode. The... It's supposed to protect the Time Lords from targeting. Yeah, but, like... Uh, that's what it's supposed to do and then do the additional thousand burn but uh, if he was doing something cheesy and like searching spear mode with it or whatever can you do that with uh, you can yeah, if you so. can pop it but it's not going to get popped you're not going to be able to pop it in trick stars easily because then I'd say it was cute but yeah uh. I've seen people do that in Metal Foes and, like, nothing else. That's true. <laughs> Pop them out of the bound to get, uh, sphere mode. That's, that's cute. That is cute. Oh, man, Demix. Yeah, this Phantom Knight player is really starting to... I'm losing hope in humanity over here. <laughs> you feeling the burn? Like, I'm pretty sure his deck is objectively better, and... <laughs> He's losing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, trick stars do grind advantage, all right. Yeah. So and everything you do, every move you make, every step you take, gives you burn. Although this is a lot of damage. He is able to attack. I'll be burning you. He's able to attack for game with just the requiem on the zeroed out monster. So that OTK though. And that was beautiful. In round number three, we have guessed that card, which one is dead in your hand. Uh, if you guessed Mount of the Bound, you would. <laughs> <laughs> he opens it like every game, too. You would be correct. <laughs> there must have been a game that did something in Swiss. I'll have to go ask him. To replace. <laughs> to ask Yui, why? Mound of the brick. <laughs> like it literally could be anything else. If it was an upstart goblin, mm -hmm. like it'd just be anything. Like what? Except he's I think he's playing more than forty cards. But anyway. Yeah. Ooh, he might actually use it. 
He might actually <laughs> use it. Just because uh, it just doesn't know. No, he's gonna. Oh well, he might have to now. Yeah, the, the strike on the Candina was quality. He didn't even play it. No. He didn't. Why wouldn't you just? Why wouldn't you just play it? Just hope they pop it. I mean, I mean, he has a Time Lord, so he has his synergy, right? He's got his synergy right there. Yeah, it played it. It's been played. No, my synergy. That thousand burn and the two thousand burn, right? Right? Yeah. That's... What is he worried about, Dryden? Like, why does he need to worry about his guys being targeted? Well, fog blade would get him a little bit here. Fog blade, that breaks or eh, no breaks or destroys. So yeah. <clears throat> and break sword is not a quick effect. I guess I guess it would be fog blade that you're in this particular matchup. The reason for keeping it in and not siding it out, but. <laughs> Immediately? Yeah. This match burial's like plus three, so just. Right. You know, oh my god, it actually did something. <laughs> <laughs> not the bound. <laughs> no sphere mode. No. We, we all make fun of his mount of the bound, and all of a sudden he drops obelisk on this guy. <laughs> well, if he got sphere mode, he'd have to do something with these monsters. <laughs> Look for the sky dragon! I have no hands! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> this said nothing! I have no hand! <laughs> Show me what you got! Uh, I don't know, that uh, luring him in with that waking the dragon again. No, I'm pretty sure it has no function. He threw it in because he was like, I have level 10s! Yeah. I need another field spell for some reason! For some reason. Sure. Ooh, man. That ultimate raptor. What are you going to do about it, though? What a dumb thing to lose to. Yeah, you gotta, that's how we outed the last one, was uh, boosting decode. Which was yeah. a ser That was a Yugi thing, too. Like, that's straight I pull out of your ass really on the three-parter yeah. episode. It's really your only option. <laughs> just beat over it. There he goes. There it is. He's going to do it. What a... What a goddamn legend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank freaking God. Uh, I don't think my deck has an out for for Ultimate Falcon. All right, yeah, Benji. We I, got... I learned by the hard way. My paleos don't. Benji, we got another, uh, another one of your matches. Oh, okay. Let's see how this script did. <laughs> This uh, is uh, this is Kren and Bungie playing uh, True Draco and Infernoids. Oh look, I played the matchup. I didn't want to play all tournament. Mm -hmm. Did you play Altergeist? No, fortunately. So well, why don't you want to play against True Draco with with Infernoid? Void Imagination and the Fusion spell is like a Shadal fusion. So if your opponent doesn't oh. go into the extra deck, it doesn't do anything. Ah. And he's playing Monarchs Erupt as well, which is cute. Ew. Although you were able to play around that quite well, I was actually impressed. This one was a lot of fun. This this match actually was a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, my roommate plays Draco, so it's yeah, no, you heavily were, practiced match. The uh, yeah, chaining the uh, Decatron to dodge the erupt was was some quality. That is good. It also helps that my opponent wasn't fully aware of how to beat. That's the other Infernoids. thing. Yeah, that's, like if you, that, if you that's know, Infernoid's number one strategy. That was that was probably you know how my deck works, do you? <laughs> my card text is too long. <laughs> no one reads them, so it's like whatever. Yeah, I was just hoping. Please win right now. Right. Come on. Let's do it. Slash. Oh, I would. I would have been like, nah, you got the whole thing. I don't care. <laughs> that's a so, match winner. That's a match winner. a monster effect, I was able to take Deviati off the field, negate his monster, and still blow up everything. Mm -hmm. Because he. I mean, could he have chosen not to activate the monster effect? Well, I had Void Seer, so I could make him unaffected, okay. and it would work this time, but he does it again later. <laughs> yeah. I but... also will say this, I, I'm pretty sure Infernoids have an inherently good YGO Pro matchup. Oh yeah, it's great. Because no, no, no one wants to read on YGO Pro, because you don't have time. <laughs> right. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know, screw it. Yes, activate. So that card that he just banished, I had not activated once in the tournament. Really? That would have been the one time I would have activated it. The Void Launch? Yeah, it's a shit card, but... In slow formats, it's okay. 
I like how you completely cleared all of his back row like a turn ago, and he's already back to pretty much full. Yeah, their field spell's good. I think she summoned that stupid Draco thing. Slash draw again. Draco Phoenix. Draco Phoenix, it's not even any of them? Yeah. Were you wow, where's that slash draw for freaking victory? Right. Do it! Do it! Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Or when I was like trying to get Ryan to test slash draw on my nibbles, and he the first game he tried testing it, it just it won him off. the duel. <laughs> and he's like, How rude! It <laughs> didn't even test the strategy. He won the game before I was allowed to win the game. <laughs> so, going into game number two, True Draco gets the advantage. Now, did you uh, did you open up bad, or is that uh. This is horrible. <laughs> yeah. I had one play. It was summon this monster and hope for the best. It got striked. Yeah. And then I tried again. And, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it got also negated. I know. Let's try my other one play. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I'm like, okay, I'm getting somewhere. No, nope. <laughs> nope. All right, I'm out of cards. <laughs> Oof, solemn judgment. I can win with no cards, right? <laughs> if you don't draw top, into that. <laughs> top, top deck slash draw and win with slash draw? Right, yeah, that's that's totally how it works. If you did... That would be awesome. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, part of the cards did not work. Ah, no. Does, do, does Infernoids have a hard time coming from behind? Um, with Grave Setup, no. Well, it's hard to get Grave Setup in right. the right... In the wrong scenarios, like Draco's just a bad match. Like Imagination's like a top deck card if your opponent goes in the extra deck, but it's not in this match. So only reasoning is like a good top deck, which is rough because it's a one. Yeah. Well, slash draw could be good also, but you need a discard card, yeah. right? So yeah, and it's that's rough. <laughs> what you need is grass. This, that's what you. This need. worked for me because he misplayed. Oh, there you go. How so? He activated um, the dynamite, allowing me to tribute the Deviati, so it nuked all the back row. Gotcha. But if I couldn't tribute it, it was just going to be a dead monster. <laughs> you, gave, you gave him something to negate, right? Is that what the exactly or change? I needed a way to tribute. I like how you kept, the... kept feast in hand until you got rid of his back row. Uh, it's a very easy deck for him to just tribute a spell and right. knock it out. So I have to like. Wait. No, I mean I, that, that, that exactly. You do have to wait, but that's not something that um, most players in this tournament, I think, would have done. Yeah, no, I think he ran is... out of Draco spells because he wasn't searching anything offensive. Bigness. Mm. This is just Benny Boy here actually knowing how to play his deck. Yeah, <laughs> that's, 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 that, that gives you a huge leg up on most of the players <laughs> in the tournament. Come on, what do you know? We actually know how your deck works. <laughs> you can play out a lot better. Uh, Karen said he was in the voice chat with you uh, during this, and just waiting for Slash Draw to go off. Yeah, we were we were praying. <laughs> All right, so that was the uh, that was the semifinals. So we have one match left, and it is uh, between Phantom Knights and Infernoids. Oh, hey losers! What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Wanna watch something else? Hurry up and choose one of these. Ugh. When are you gonna make a choice? This year would be nice.